plan is that skiing holidays out of the question because of cost, but Serbia might just be putting an end to all that. Meet the Barnets, Terry, Mum, Juliet, 11-year-old Sophie and brother George, who's eight. They've never been on a ski holiday before. Typical holiday for us is um, two weeks on the beach, laying by the sun. Ignoring the children. Ignoring the kids. The most important thing about going on holiday is having fun. This skiing has been a lot more family orientated. You do things with Together. the kids and you do things as a family, which, yeah. is, which has been great. The first morning, Sophie and George left mum and dad and joined ski school. Ski school is really, really fun because we learn another thing every day and we meet different friends and stuff and like, we learn how to ski more. So if we go on another holiday, we'll be brilliant at it. I was worried about the kids going into the ski school because I thought, oh, they'll be on their own, but they've made their own friends. We've made our Give own friends and it's, it gives morning. us a break it's every morning. Well. My hands were shaking because I felt, like, really, like, away from my family when they told us that we were just going to different ski schools. I think I'm the better skier because I didn't fall over as much as him. No, I think I'm the better skier because you fell over about 21 times a day. Ski school runs daily from 9 until 1. Children are put in one class and adults another, according to ability. We will put balloons between our two knees and it will help us to be in a power position all the time. So that's for me then, because I always plough. Yeah. Thanks. So. <laughs> Our ski school has been, it's been really good. Really I was, good fun. Yeah. I was a bit worried skiing with the balloons between my legs because it, I was finding it hard enough. And uh, I think we lost about eight of my balloons. We did lose a few. We did. We did lose a few. But apparently it was, to, it, it was when we were doing our parallel turns, because we're that advanced now, um, it was it was to keep our legs together, so we're doing the parallel turn. So it was it was just a bit of fun. I still it, snow it, it was good. It, it, everything he taught us was good. The instructor was good. The time they meet us, they're in a good mood because they've had an exciting morning with their friends and they've done they've learnt more and more each day. After ski school, it's time for a well-earned rest and a bite to eat in one of the mountain's more picturesque establishments. Is it what you expected? The result is um, it's good. better than I expected because everything's central. The snow's amazing. I didn't expect it to be as snowy because in the one time that we went before it was on glaciers, so there wasn't as much. So who's the better skier already, do you think? You're looking at him. <laughs> I'm looking at him. <laughs> He's very confident, Sophie. What about you? Um, you're the best skier. Yeah. Who fell over the most this morning? Sophie. Who's got no, bruised bottom? Me. That's her bye. <laughs> <laughs> Ride was brilliant. The best thing about it for me was like all the snow because no one had been treading it in it or anything. It just like looked like sugar. It was really nice. It did take us right around the resort, which was a good way of, of checking the resort out. Yeah. But mm -hmm. when it come up in, it come up from the resort into the mountains, and it, it was beautiful. Picturesque. It was like a fairy tale. <laughs> While the family took a sleigh ride around the resort, I met up with Radomir Kratovac of the Kaponnik Tourist Board. Why are Brits deciding to come back here? It's a good deal here, really, because if you compare some prices, like for example other ski centres in Europe, uh, you can have a meal here for three to four pounds, uh, a bottle of beer costs 70 pence, so practically it's, it's, it's a great thing. That's roughly half then. Per roughly half or even triple down in, in comparison to, uh, to other ski resorts. The room was small, but I'm happy with it. It was really green and really basic. It was basic, but it was comfortable and everything you need there. You don't spend a lot of time in the room. It's just that sort of holiday. You're out. You're outdoors most of the what time. What you see is what you get. And when you're in the room, you're you're tired. You're just crashing out of bed. So, yeah, yeah it was basic but good. <laughs> I love the skidoos. The skidoos were my highlight. The kids loved them as well, yeah. Oh, the skidoos was really fun. And I thought it was going to tip over when we went down the hill. The ice skating to me was... Um, Terrifying. Terrifying. Yeah, yeah. Sophie loved it. She was the best at it. 
I had to have help around it and just as we were going off, I was starting to be able to do it on my own, so it would be good if I had a little bit more time. The place is beautiful. The, the, the settings on the, on the mountains and that are absolutely beautiful. So, so it, it's been great. When we come, we knew it was we we're going to be a budget holiday. So therefore, you think that things are not going to be as good. It's got, you know things are going to be restricted. But but everything's been really good. I can't see it being more beautiful anywhere else in Europe than it is here anyway. Anywhere else in the world. I don't want to leave this place. I'll stay in a log cabin if I have to. Value for money. You'd be hard pushed to beat skiing here. Now, if you're an expert skier, you might be a little bored. But if you're a novice like me and these guys, it's an ideal place to get the skiing bug. And I've been well and truly bitten. And now the travel